Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A new drug delivery method has allowed researchers to successfully kill resistant tumor cells while using less of a chemotherapy drug. The study was conducted by researchers at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill on a mouse model of lung cancer using paclitaxel, a powerful drug used to treat cancers of the lung, breast, and pancreas. Before delivering the drug, researchers loaded it into exosomes, which are tiny vesicles naturally present in biological fluids. The exosomes were harvested from the white blood cells of the mice in the study, loaded with paclitaxel, and reintroduced into the mice. The exosomes naturally sought out the tumor cells and kept the toxic drug from being released more widely into the body. The treatment, which the researchers call XOPXT, was so successful that they estimate it could treat drug-resistant cancers with 50 times less paclitaxel than is used in current treatments. More effective cancer treatment requiring less chemotherapy. That would be good news for sure. This study is published in the journal Nanomedicine, Nanotechnology, Biology, and Medicine. Next up, astronomers in Japan may have discovered the second largest black hole in our galaxy. Using radio telescopes operated by the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan, a team of astronomers from Keio University found a gas cloud located a mere 200 light years from the center of the Milky Way. They also found that this gas cloud exhibits wide velocity dispersion, which means the various gases of which the cloud is composed move around at a wide range of speeds. The astronomers hypothesize that this is due to a nearby intermediate mass black hole, which they estimate to have about 100,000 times the mass of our Sun within a radius of about three-tenths of a light year. If that hypothesis is shown to be correct, this is a big deal. So far, all black holes ever discovered have been either stellar mass black holes formed from the remnants of massive stars or supermassive black holes, which are found at the centers of galaxies. This object would be the first intermediate mass black hole ever found. That would not only be cool in and of itself, it would also fill in an important gap in theories of galactic evolution, namely how those supermassive black holes that lie at the heart of many galaxies were able to form. The paper on these observations by the Keio University team is published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. And finally, another team of astronomers is observing what might be the largest supernova ever seen. The object they're observing is designated Assassin 15LH. It's a ball of gas about 3.8 billion light years away that is radiating an amount of energy equivalent to hundreds of billions of stars like our Sun. At the center of this ball sits an object less than 10 miles in diameter. Astronomers think this object could be a magnetar, a rare form of neutron star that can result from a supernova. If that is the case, it's the largest supernova and the most powerful magnetar ever discovered. Assassin 15LH is so powerful that the astronomers studying it have been forced to revise their assumptions about just how bright objects in the universe can be. The supernova that created Assassin 15LH, if that is indeed what happened, would have been 200 times more powerful than the average supernova and 20 times brighter than all the stars in the Milky Way combined. The question of what this object actually is could be settled later this year when the team hopes to observe it using the Hubble Space Telescope. Until then, the paper on Assassin 15LH is published in the journal Science. A new delivery system treats cancer more effectively with less chemotherapy, and one team of astronomers discovers what may be a first-of-its-kind black hole, while another observes what might be the brightest supernova ever seen. That's the good news. Hey everybody, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and share it and subscribe to this channel if you're not subbed already. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Say goodbye, Adi. Oh.